is up YouTubers and lovers of budget cars welcome back to the channel enter a new project a new camper van project I have been waiting to do a new camper van project for the last three years the last one we did was the Vauxhall Vivaro camper that we did back in 2019 which seems like a lifetime ago before the bloody pandemic believe it or not which seems to have stayed with us even now in 2022 I have been looking for a van I have to say I have been searching but as we know van prices went absolutely ridiculous during the pandemic you couldn't find one for love nor money they were so overpriced it was a bloody comedy show even old rust bucket t4s were going for four grand before you've even started and i can't buy a van for four grand and then spend x amount on converting it into a camper van and then try and sell it for any kind of profit so i just held back basically i even considered buying a couple of salvage ones cat ends or something and fixing them up but uh, in the end i just kept my cool and kept waiting and this popped up relatively locally and i went to see it had a deal with the guy and bought it home as you can see so what is it it is a 2005 volkswagen transporter t5 didn't think i was going to be able to get myself a t5 i thought that would be slightly out of my price range but as you can see it is here and it's not without its problems it's a 17 year old work van effectively and it has done wait for it 225,000 miles i know but these vans are built to do that and as long as you service them as long as you look after them as long as you've replaced everything that needs replacing they are fine for that you know most of the camper van conversions you see will be in the hundreds of thousands not below 100,000 and if they are they're, they're going to be 15 grand this was nowhere near that I'll talk to you about the prices in the second video but I'd be really curious to know what you guys think I paid for this as I said it's a 17 year old van 2005 225,000 miles but in pretty good order as you can see there are some scratches down the side here which I'm going to be able to polish most of that out but there are going to be a couple which will be hard work shall we say but no dents as you can see no real dents this little discrepancy up here I'm not quite sure what that is I'm hoping that will polish out as well but as you can see no real dents to speak of in the sides or the back it does have its little rust issues though as you would expect one of them I have already started to treat down here this was all scabby and rusty so I've got a drill bit with a sanding block on it and I've gone around it and I've treated it with rust proofer today. I'm going to leave that for a couple of days and then I'm going to basically fill it with body filler, see where we are. I was going to try to paint it but trying to get colour match paint for a 17 year old car is going to be nigh on impossible. I had a quick chat with my local paint guy and he thinks he's going to need to paint in this entire quarter which seems a bit extreme to me. I would have thought you could have followed this line around and just filled in this bit because I think if you paint that whole quarter it's going to look odd unless he can absolutely colour match it but we'll see and I do have other plans in mind for possible things that we can do to this as well I did actually have a go at treating some of the rust myself because inside the steps there was a little bit of rust which I have tried my best to deal with I have actually dealt with it truth be known let's open that window oh, by the way we've got new door handles coming as well I'm not quite sure what's happened to that but I've got some just gloss black ones coming there was some rust basically bubbling up in here all down here and as you can see I have basically sanded that off I filled it with body filler I've primed it and uh, I bought some quite expensive paint truth be known it was 25 quid and it's supposed to be color matched to the code for this car now either the code that VW gave me for this car is completely bloody wrong or their color match is completely bloody wrong because uh, that is nowhere near is it I mean that's a completely different color which is such a shame if it had been slightly off I think I could have dealt with it and I would have tried that rear quarter myself and I might even have bought a panel for here uh, as, as in a wing because as you can see there's a couple of little dents there I can buy a, a black panel primed for about 90 quid and I could have painted that myself had the paint not been just that little bit closer but it is years away luckily the rust is all gone that's that's not a problem I've managed to deal with that so at least I know I can do that but uh, the color match is just miles out unless of course as I said VW gave me the wrong bloody code this hinge as well here is there's something a bit wanky with that if you lift up I don't know if it's going to show you here but if you lift up the door the whole door kind of lifts up and down so I've got a new hinge coming as well shouldn't be too much of a drama but that was 90 quid seat's gone but I have a new seat coming tomorrow which I found on Facebook 80 quid same pattern immaculate condition and the passenger seat the bench seat there perfect condition nothing to worry about there the floor mat brilliant the rest of the dash absolutely stunning nothing to worry about there this car actually this van actually drives like a car it's really 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 smooth it's got a lot of pickup as well when the turbo kicks in there's no smoke there's nothing to be worried about mechanically the engine apart from a little worry that we have when my mechanic guy Jamie turned up we started it up and there was some creamy gunge underneath the oil cap which freaked 
us both out but it did clear itself and we did the sniff test as it were put that little gizmo that you can put into the top of the the water tank and basically if it turns yellow then the head gasket is gone it didn't turn yellow it didn't overheat there was no smoking i think it's just been sat around for a very long time as for the front bumper needs some bumper gel possibly repainting not sure how far i'm going to go with this basically the lights need sanding and polishing piece of cake got new wheels coming as well found those on facebook we've got some really nice wheels coming same sort of size but as i needed to replace a couple of tires that would have cost me getting on for 100 quid for 120 quid i get four new wheels with almost new tires it's got to be the way to go isn't it really i'm so miffed about that paint as well there that is such a shame but i mean obviously there you can see the difference in color is night and day but matching 17 year old paint was never gonna be easy so if the van will let us let's get in the back and we'll have a little look in here as well windows in the back real bonus as well because all i'm going to do is get some curtains that will fit into here from kira vans probably and that'll make the inside a little bit darker not sure what to do about all these dents and bumps all down here could fill these and then possibly spray it with some amorite silver paint because I think that'll look nicer and I'm not sure we're going to get away with carpeting on here but I could like I've done in the past get these bolts out and then basically carpet around here but this time I think I'm going to just spray them to make them look nicer. As for the back we have already got sponsorship for this project which I'm so grateful for. Vandalized have got involved we're going to basically put get this floor up and then put that down I'll show you exactly how that all works and then another company have sent out this dodo matting and soundproofing as well all their links are going to be in the description and we will video us basically soundproofing and insulating the sides the roof the floors all of that kind of good stuff and we will have other companies that are going to send out more stuff and everything we do on this van this time around is going to be documented filmed time-lapsed i'll show you exactly how to do it it won't be like the previous ones where i just do it show you what i've done and that's it i've got another company that are going to give me a well give me the reduced price shall we say for a ply lining kit which will give me one whole piece for here another one for here and a huge one for down here as well one whole piece because as you can see it's got the original and we're going to put some down lights in with a dimmer switch we're going to put a window in here with an opening window this time because i think that'll be better and i've got a company a really nice guy actually i found on ebay who sells this kind of bench setup that comes around in a kind of half u as it were and ends up with a cooking area over here i'm going to do it that way because last time we did the whole kind of tailor fitted kitchen and wardrobe and all the rest of it which is fine and dandy and we put in a rock and roll bed i'm not going to go with a rock and roll bed this time because i want to be able to basically just sit back in the back of here maybe get a tv coming off somewhere in the here and watch some tv you can't really do that i don't know if you've ever sat in a rock and roll bed guys but it is not what i would call comfortable especially not for sitting around and having your dinner that kind of stuff didn't want to go that way this time wanted something far more relaxed and laid back the cat's here she loves this van she decided that uh, basically she's going to come trucking with me because we might even do a couple of trips out in this van but that is it as i said i want you to tell me in the comments what you think i pay for this van any ideas that you've got for this van as well i'd be really interested to hear that when it comes to the raptor paint what color would you choose i'm thinking of a kind of a turquoisey blue i think that'd look really nice for a kind of a surf van camper van kind of project but we are already doing stuff as you can tell i've already started rust proofing bits and bobs here and there i found out obviously i can't get the color match paint bit of a shame i'm 90 percent sure i'm going to do the raptor on this but if you've done it and it was a complete disaster and you didn't like it, let me know because I'd be really curious because obviously I don't want to do that if it's absolutely a garbage way to do things. But I think it should turn out okay. My only real big problem is this door here. It's such a shame it's got these bumps everywhere. But I think if we were to sand this and fill it all the way down here and then spray it with some silver amorite, it would look a hell of a lot better. As for the van itself, it drives, as I said, like a car. There's no real knocks or bangs or any noises that you would not expect to hear in a van that is just a pan van basically and i think it's going to work out okay as i said that door down there needs a new roller but apart from that there's no lights on the dash there's no smoke out the back the only other thing that we noticed because when my mechanic jamie come around make yourself comfortable kitty cat when my mechanic friend came around the engine started making this kind of weird knocking and it sounded quite low down turns out he diagnosed it as a faulty dmf which isn't ideal and he said look if you're going to change the dmf you may as well change the clutch because you're going to be in there anyway that was 270 quid just for the parts he's going to do me a favor and fit those in i'm expecting that to be about 400 quid but we inspected the cam belt at the same time that has been changed recently that is perfectly fine i did assume we'd have to do the cam belt so ah, 50 50 i mean i was going to spend 300 
150 quid on a cam belt, probably with a water pump. I'm now going to spend that on a new clutch and DMF. That means that when I sell this van, it's going to basically have a virtually new cam belt and a brand new DMF and clutch, which is going to be a huge selling point. Anyway, if you want to follow this story along, then please consider subscribing to the channel and we will be putting out a video on this every couple of weeks, I would think, every two to three weeks, and you'll follow the story along as it goes. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up, all that kind of good stuff. And as I said, we will be doing a video on this every couple of weeks, hopefully, and we will do progress reports. But please do put your comments in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts on this. And don't forget to subscribe as well. I think this is going to be a really, really interesting project, guys, and I'm hoping you're going to follow it along. Anyway, we'll be back in a couple of weeks. So look out for a new video then.